And we are live. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And we're here with some Marvel Champions playthroughs. Rick's joining me today. Hello. Because I don't remember how to play the game. It's been a long time since I've played, <laughs> but you've been playing a lot of this online. Yes, every week. Every for, week. For ages. For, for a long, long time. <laughs> um, we're going to be showing off today the new playmats from Powerplant Games. Now, Powerplant Games do a range of playmats. Uh, they've done ones for Arkham. Arkham Horror card game. They've done ones for Star Wars. I can't remember which Star Rebellion? Wars game. Rebellion. Rebellion, I think. Uh, and they've done some for... Marvel Champions, which is what we're showing off today. These are actually available uh, right now on powerplantgames.de. This is not a sponsored video, so I'm not getting paid any money to do this, but Powerplant Games are a patron supporter of mine, so I've agreed to show off these playmats. Now, just before we start, there are two different styles of playmats, and we've actually overlapped them. So even though we've set up, I'm just going to move these off. Oh, so this playmat that you see here, this is one style, and the other style of playmat is there. Now the reason we've overlapped them is because both of the playmats at the top of them have the villain area. So we figured that if we overlap them like this, then it takes up a bit less space. And let's try and put things back in the same place. So yeah, we've only got one space for side schemes, one space for the main scheme, one space for all the villain stuff. Um, we are tracking the villain's health on this rather than the normal counters. Uh, and because we've only now got one threat area, I'm going to use this threat area with them facing me, mm -hmm. and Rick's going to use that threat so area. So it doesn't come with these tokens, is it? These no, these, these tokens are ones that I've just grabbed from a, from a different game. Uh, right. What's this then? That's a, a minion. And we start with this in We play. start with a minion as per the set. Right. Yeah. So today, we're sure. going to be battling against Mysterio. I'm playing Peter Quill, a.k.a. Star-Lord. Mm -hmm. You're playing... I'm Riri Williams, a.k.a. Ironheart. Okay, right. I have a Justice deck, you have a Leadership deck. Right. And... Yeah, if you don't know how to play Marvel Champions, this is not going to be a tutorial. Uh, it is just going to be a playthrough. Right, so we've got to defeat Mysterio as normal. Mm -hmm. two, ske uh, two stages. Uh, Mysterio has two scheme, one attack, and special ability that whenever we resolve a boost card during Mysterio's activation, if it's got the illusion trait, we put it in our discard pile. Mm -hmm. So this Mysterio puts lots of cards in your deck. So one of the quirky things with Mysterio is these encounter cards are actually going to get added into our deck. Mm. And when they come out, they go face down into face down our... in our play, ready to, to, to right. resolve in the encounter phase, and we draw another card. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's a little... Do you want to read the little bit of... Oh, yeah, the little bit of flavour. Is that is that on there or on the other side? Uh, on there. Right, that's just setup instructions, just isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, which modular... Expansion are we playing with? The one that's... Whispers of Paranoia. Yep. Right, okay. So, uh, each turn of a corner, countless c countless copies of yourself... Reveals. Sorry. Each turn, each turn of a corner reveals countless copies of yourself. Shattered panes rebound seamlessly to whole, and every attempt to circumnavigate the labyrinth forces you deeper within. Defeating Mysterio may be the only means of escape. It's like an amazing mirror. Especially. We are. So, there is a forced interrupt effect. Whenever we would draw or discard an encounter card from our deck, we deal it to ourselves as a face-down encounter card, and then draw one card. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily a bad draw. Well, it is a bad draw, but we still get our card draw. Mm -hmm. Now, I've not played this character before. Nope. Um, you've played that character before, presumably? Yeah, I've played both of these before. Right, okay. Uh, and the minion that we start with in play has guard, so we can't attack the main villain. Yeah, and if we over-damage him, if we damage him more than one, then the defeating player shuffles the top card and count card into a deck. So, so that's we bad. To, yeah, we only do one damage. So you only want to just hit it a little bit. You don't want to hit it too much. Exactly. Right, okay. So let's do our starting setup. So don't forget your hand size. Uh, hand size is six. That's yep. pretty good, isn't it? It's not bad. I mean, normally alter egos are. I mean, my four on the other side, but when I level her up, she gets bigger and bigger. Right, okay. Um, so yeah, this is going to be very much a learning game for me playing this character. But Rick's built the deck and tested it. So we will see. Now I've got a setup ability, so that happens after the mulligan. Correct. I, I, I don't really know what to do with the mulligan because I don't know the deck. Um, um, so you'll, you've got some, obviously a whole bunch of allies in there. Right. And cards that get you allies out really? cheaper mm -hmm. and, and upgrades. So Iron Man, if you see what his ability does. Reduce the cost to play each upgrade on Iron Man by one. So I've got a lot of one cost upgrades. So right. they'll be free. Okay. But some of these upgrades are attached to a Guardian ally. Iron Man is what you'll realise is oh, so when I'm in, when I'm in Star Lord form, each ally I control gains the Guardian trait. Uh -huh. Ah, right, okay. 
Uh, what do I want in here? Don't want that one. But then presumably the attachment doesn't fall off if it stops uh, becoming correct. a guardian. It's only to play it. Right, okay, nice. Okay. That one, that one, that one. That one. My attack is two. So I don't want to, as you say, we don't want to be doing, we don't want to be doing too, too much damage to these. Yes, no helmet for me to discard this time. What was that? <laughs> that was, that, was that Iron Man? Uh, uh, no, Ant-Man. Ant-Man, that was it, yeah. Ant-Man's helmet. <laughs> uh, so that's actually not very good at the moment. This card generates a wild resource for each ally you control. No, it's exactly. So that'll be good later once you've got... So we'll get rid of that out. one. Um, that's good for playing grey cards, of which I have none. So In your beginning hand. But if you're going to mulligan some out, you might get some. I might so get know. some. The Daring Escape is the one that you were saying. I can yeah, deal myself. Starla does have a helmet as well. Oh, right. Okay. I'll discard that there. Attached to a Guardian ally, so that's pretty good. Play only if your identity has the Guardian trait, so again, don't which I do when I flip over. Starlord's ability, you can deal yourself an encounter card to reduce the cost of a card by three. When you play a card from your hand, reduce the card by three, limit once per round. So Iron Man suddenly becomes cost of one. very cheap. <laughs> yes. This is the danger of Starlord. It's all like, oh, the temptation. <laughs> but it's fun. Um, reduce the resource cost of the next ally played this phase by two. Yeah. So that's pretty good as well. Uh, I think I'm going to mulligan that one as well. So I'm mm -hmm. going to mulligan two cards, draw two replacements. It's another laser blaster. And one of those, right? And then I use my setup instructions. Yep. So I get, the, get element the element gun. What's the element gun then? Is that It's what, his Starlord gun. Well, he's okay. got two of them. And that just goes into my hand. Right, okay. We're ready. Mm -hmm. How'd you play the game? Where's the reference cards? Because I'm going to need those reference cards. Oh, I don't know. I have you brought them? I didn't bring them with Okay, me. we don't have the reference cards. But I'll, I'll run the game. Okay. okay, okay, that's fine. So. And you're going to be the first player? I am the first player. Awesome. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend strength, two resources, to play a Champion's Mobile Bunker. Whack so upgrade there. cards go down at upgrade the bottom. Slash supports. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to spend one science resource to place one progress counter. So on begin the game with this card. Yep. And then as an action, I can spend a science resource to place one progress counter. I need to get to six progress counters, and I upgrade to the stronger version of Ironheart. Okay. Where does it say that? <laughs> oh, when you flip. And I hear, remove six progress counts from my own heart, ready her and swap over the version two. Right, nice. Okay, cool. So I've got one token on me. I have a, a champion's mobile bunker. So I'm going to exhaust the champion's mobile bunker, choose an identity with the champion trait, which would be me. That player who controls that identity may draw two cards, then discard two cards. So you flip to Iron Heart straight away. Yes. So you get the progress tokens on the other side. Uh, yeah, I can spend the... You get them on the other side and I, you spend them on this side. I can I can spend that ability on the other side to get them. There's also other ways for me to Okay, get right. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, otherwise it'd be quite slow. Yeah. Mm, don't really want either of these, really. So I'm going to discard the two I draw. Okay, but I'm cycling through my deck, so that is good. I'm going to play a Power of Justice to put down a Surveillance Team. That has three Justice. loop counters. Which is the thing that removes threat? Yep, exhaust surveillance team, remove one snoop counter, remove one threat. From the okay. Like that. And I keep this last card in my hand. And, well, annoyingly, I'm going to have to get a card in my deck, aren't I? I think we both are. Yeah. Unless you've got a way of doing one attack. No, two attack. Let's just do it and get rid of it as his guard. So that one goes to the discard pile, but then I shuffle the top card. So if this minion was defeated with excess damage, the defeating player shuffles the top card of the encounter deck into their deck. Yep. There must be some official ruling on not looking at your deck while you're doing that. <laughs> yes, or otherwise, some, like, otherwise you just... It's on your top. Nah, I'll carry on shuffling. I'll just keep shuffling. Yeah, as an ex-judge for Magic the Gathering tournaments, that, that, that <laughs> card will cause all sorts of problems. Okay, so that is my turn completed. Right, so at some point on my turn, I can switch. Oh, and in fact, oh, I can cycle my things. So if I have a card that I don't like, you can put it on I could actually just get rid of it. So it's, yeah, it's swap a card. 
So this, that, could, yeah, this one. If you've got another one, there, I've, I've got another one of them. Yeah. So I'm going to use my smooth talker to swap that. It's going to be a with that. Uh huh. Okay. Right. Well, it's different. <laughs> uh, it's leader of the guardians, which is pretty good. All allies get all all guardian thing. characters I control get an extra thwart. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. But then I'm the thwarter. Oh so right. Okay. Well. What am I? You're going to be damaging I just got friends. and blocking stuff. You've got lots of friends. Yeah. So my welcome aboard, play if your identity has the Guardian trait, which I don't. No, nope, so you have to flip. So I, th I don't think there's anything I want to play while I'm in Peter Quill form. No, there isn't. So we're going to flip. That's why I'm now Star-Lord. Um, also, just so you know, that's ready, that's exhausted. Oh, I see. So you don't need to tap them. You just oh, need to slide them down, which I think is much better because I don't like tapping cards. just looks messy. So yeah, so if you put it there, and then oh, when you exhaust confusing. it, okay, yeah, you, you put it there like that. So take a little bit of getting used yeah. to it because we're so used <laughs> to tapping. I'm so them. used to but tapping. I, but I think sliding them down, the exhausted side, I think, okay, might be good. Right. So I, I've got, I've got Iron Man, which costs four. I could deal myself a face down and Kenta card to reduce this by three, but. I actually have Welcome Aboard. You've got Welcome Aboard. So I'll play Welcome Aboard. Play only if your identity has the Guardian trait, which it does. Maximum of one per round. Uh, hero action. Reduce the resource cost of the next ally played this phase by two. Uh -huh. Now you see, you can play that at the end of your turn. And if it's my turn next, I can play an ally. All oh, right. By okay. lesson two, because it's the next... The next ally played, played this, this phase. phase. So right. it's not necessarily you. Okay. So there is that as well. Obviously, you've got all the allies that are really good. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so allies are going to go here. Yeah, so it still costs you two. still costs me two. Well, I have two laser blasters, so I will use one of them. Don't forget, laser blasters are free to play on him, but... But I can only play one. One on him, yeah. Um, it will be that. Daring escape, uh -huh. I think. Oh, it's tricky, right? So now I'm going to play a laser blaster. So attached to a guardian ally, which this is because of that. Yeah. Uh, and it costs the cost to play. Right. So I'm not sure the play mat can cope with um, upgrades on characters. But <laughs> You're I, going to get a lot. <laughs> am I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess we just place it. I, I might just place it there because we know what it does. Yeah. Plus one attack and overkill. So I'm going to put it there. Right. I think I am going to use my ability. So I am going to play a card from my hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deal myself one face down encounter card to reduce the cost of this by three. Yeah. And it is my element gun. So this is restricted, so it goes here. Mm -hmm. um, and as a hero action, I can exhaust element gun and spend one resource of any type to deal three damage to an enemy with piercing. Piercing gets through... Tough. Tough. So if they got tough... It would remove the tough and then and get through. Damage. Yep. Right, okay. Uh, what's Matushi saying? You don't have to do it at the end of your turn. Just call, call for, for an action. action you need. That, welcome aboard. You can call for an action. So I could call for an action in my turn. And I could then play and it. And you could play it as long as you're in hero form. Right, got it. Okay. Right, so. I've got the element gun. You do? I can't attack Mysterio because, because of that. And the element gun does not give it overkill. But Iron Man does. So Iron Man with a laser blaster is plus one attack and overkill. So I think we're going to use Iron Man. Yeah, so he's doing three attack. To do three attack on that, which kills it. You get a card into your discard pile. Because of that. Uh, sorry, shuffle into your deck. Oh, the discard pile's that one. But Mysterio it? actually takes two damage. Yeah. Okay, so he's now down to 28. Okay, and then I might as well use the... Actually, some clear tokens might be good there, wouldn't they? So you can see what's underneath. Not that you can't guess. Yeah. Um, so do I want to use the element gun? I think I do. So I'm going to exhaust the element gun, spend a resource of any type. Do another three damage. To deal three damage to Mysterio. Nice. Okay. So he's exhausted, yeah. So he's taken a consequential damage. Oh yes, consequential damage. I always forget that. Right, I am going to cut my deck, I am going to shuffle my deck under the table. <laughs> and drop all of the cards be like, on the floor. Oh no, orange! <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not looking, not looking, cards, and there you go. Right. And and you've still got Star Lord. Oh, I've still got Star Lord. You do. 
So I might as well attack. Uh, well, or thwart. I mean, I could thwart. You could. Why is the three on there and not four? Because I took one off. With my Did you? Team. Oh, all right. Okay. What do you think? You do the damage. I'll do the thwarting. Okay. Let's punch Mysterio. Another two. Another two. So he's down to twenty-three. Right. We're done. We are done. Ready stuff and draw yeah. cards. So ready up. Dink. Dink. Draw up the hand size. Yeah, that's going to take a bit of getting used to. But, <laughs> I, but I think it's it's cleaner. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, three, draw three four. cards. Yeah, I've never liked the fact that when you exhaust a card, it then takes up more space. Mm -hmm. So you put all your cards out nicely, and then you start tapping them, and it just looks messy. So, yeah, I like that. Okay, interesting. Powerplan games have agreed. I mean, they would, because it's their play mat, but yes. once, once you've got used to this, you wouldn't want to go back. I, I, yeah, I think I agree. Oh, I've got Star-Lord's helmet, so I discard that. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly discard. <laughs> right, okay. Villain phase. So it adds two. One per player, yep. Then he's going to activate against me, because I'm the star player. And because you're in hero form... He's going to attack me. He attacks you, and then all of the minions attack you? Yep. Right, okay. So he's going to attack me with an attack of one. Yep. And he gets a boost card, which is just a star. So he attacks me for one, so I take one damage. And the star says, choose to either take one damage or place one threat on the main, uh, on the main scheme. And then shuffle this into the into my deck, or any player's so deck. The, so the boost is reveal this card, yeah. and reveal this card is peril. So I can't, we can't, yeah, yeah, can't yeah. discuss. You, you've got to decide yourself. From horror, you know? yeah. So either take a damage, or place one threat on the main scheme. But it's not got the illusion trait, so it doesn't go in your discard pile. Correct. Right, okay, got so it. So one damage, and then shuffle it into a player's deck. Oh, yeah, interesting. Okay. So they've said that one of their test players, who's played 200 games of Marvel Champions, played one game with this map and got used to this straight away. Oh, so there how many games have you played of Marvel Champions? <sighs> Not 200. How many games have Not you played of Marvel Champions <laughs> uh, in in real life? In real life, probably six or seven. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe a bit more. Uh, okay, so now he's activating against you. So he's going to attack with an attack of one. So the whole question is, do you want to defend? I didn't. I just took the damage. Uh, at this stage, no. No. So it's attacking at one, just one, and it's not an illusion. So I take one damage, mm -hmm. and yeah, we're all good. Okay. And then there's no we minions. Get encounter cards. Yeah, so, so I we get, get one, one each. You get one. And then we reveal them. Off yeah, we go. I mine, so I get an illusion attached to my identity. Uh, Matu says, boost effects resolve before you apply damage. Okay, useful to know okay. for some other things. So, before you. Rick's always doing that in the wrong order, according to Scott. <laughs> yeah, bothered. Doesn't make any difference. <laughs> uh, Scott was like, yeah, it does. I'm like, no, no. Anyway. <laughs> uh, attached to your identity, you cannot resolve triggered abilities in your hero's printed deck text box. Triggered Oh, man. Okay. Uh, why does this people cut it around and we have to discard the card? Okay. Panic. Yeah, lame. So totally when, does, do when does it go? Uh, I can discard one identity-specific card at random from my hand and then discard that card. Okay. So right. If you're in alter ego form, yeah, so you can go going, home, have a sit down. Going to be in right. Second. Okay. Deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> we just had that. We, we've had that. <laughs> so choose to either take one damage or place one threat on the main scheme. Shuffle deja vu into any player's deck. Yep. That's interesting. Mm. So I shuffle mine into mine. So you could shuffle yours into mine <laughs> as well. <laughs> well. I could. Um, I, I think at this stage I might just take a damage. Yeah, that's what I just. And I'll I'll be I'll be nice. I'll shuffle it into my deck. And you got another one. It's an evil doppelganger. Oh. Evil doppelganger gets plus X scheme and plus X attack where X is equal to the number of identity specific cards in the engaged player's hand. It's got five health. It has, but you're, you're doing a bunch of damage now. I am. Yeah. Uh, and that attacks me... Uh, not not no. now. I've already had the villain. Yeah, yeah, phase. yeah. Yeah, okay. So the number of identity specific cards in the engaged player's hand. So, so that's Star Lord cards. Ones yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, obviously I've not played this in six months. I I don't remember any effects that triggered off identity specific no, cards. Because this, this is an evil doppelganger. Right. It's as strong Which as you sense. are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's me. So I've got two identity specific cards in my hand. So I probably want to get rid of them or just get rid of this. Just kill it. Yeah. I mean, I can do six damage to it. Yeah. With overkill. With overkill. You do it the other way around. Okay, I've also got Groot. 
So he's gonna be a neutral ally. And this is why you're into the neutral cards that you just well you just put oh, on yeah, the top of your deck, didn't you? Did you no, get it I've drawn. Yeah, Where's it gone? <laughs> I don't know. It's not here. Oh, you've oh shuffled. no, it's, I've shuffled. Yeah. yeah, I've also got Gamora, who's also a neutral ally. Yeah, Gamora's great. Right. Okay. Interesting. So that is an interrupt. I can do that multiple times. Uh, once per phase. Oh, because it says once oh, per so round. Like once per round. Once per round. Right. Okay. So, Star Lord's Helmet. While you're in hero form, you get plus one hand size for each face down encounter card in front of you to a maximum of plus three. Oh, right. So the more. The more cards you draw. Oh, wrong. wow. <laughs> I know. Although it's. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Up As the... you say, it's very taking a risk, isn't it? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, I've got so many choices here. I think we need to get rid of this evil doppelganger. Well, yeah, defo. Um, but to use the element gun, I have to actually use a card. Yes, a resource. Mm. So I think we'll just use Star Lord to attack it for two. Yep. And then I'll use Iron Man to attack it for three. three. So that's that gone. Okay. Right. Another consequence of damage from Iron Man. Yeah. So that's that bit done. Got one off left. And then he disappears, yeah. and he takes his laser blaster with him. Correct. He's so selfish, he's Iron Man. If you've got some upgrades, I'll give him more HP, if you find them. <laughs> okay, if, if I find them. So I don't have any, um, I don't have any face-down encounter cards. Right. Let, let's go with the risk thing, then. So I am going to play Groot, but I am going to interrupt this to deal myself a face-down encounter card. So I play Groot for free. Yeah. Right, then, oh, I'm going to do it again. You can only do this once. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> you did say that. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Um, Star Lord is fun to play, though, because all these big, expensive cards, and you're suddenly like, I can have them for free. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need it. We got any hero actions anywhere? I've got this. Uh, you don't have champion, do you? No. Okay, I tell you, I, I think I think I'm going to be discarding the uh, the helmet. <laughs> of course you are, because <laughs> that's kind of what I do. Right, we're going to play Gamora. Um, uh huh. Don't forget, you're going to get a card back from Gamora. Am I? Because after Gamora attacks or thwarts, discard cards on the top of your deck until you discard an event. Oh right. And add that card to your hand. Okay. Well, I'm going to pay for that with two, three. Uh huh. Okay. Got my helmet. Right. So we've still got Gamora, we've still got Groot. Uh -huh. So Gamora's going to attack. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> with, with Iron Man. With Iron Man, yeah. Because <laughs> he works well with the deck. <laughs> okay, so two damage, one consequential damage, and then I discard cards from the top of the deck until I get an event. Now, let's let's see what happens, because if you draw one of these cards, you'll get to draw another card. Oh, no, I was hoping It's an draw event. That. So that goes in hand, <laughs> except... I, I, Probably going to get rid of it. Oh, the helmet. Okay. Well, I don't have to. If you need this, well, it might be good. Um, because that means I can get an ally out. Sure. Okay. So we're saying that I keep that in hand, uh -huh. but I tell you that I've got it, and then you call me to play it yeah. on your turn. That seems odd that you can. Right. You okay. know what? <clears throat> I know what you got. Well, no, no. It seems odd that I can play a card. Welcome aboard. With a hero action. But I know hero actions can be done in any mm -hmm. place. Too. Right. So I've still got Groot. Groot hasn't done anything. Well, yeah, you haven't shot your gun. Good no, point. but that would you mean... You helmet. The helmet oh, isn't amazing, go on. is it? So I'll use the helmet. I'll discard. <laughs> spend a resource of any type. Deal three damage to an enemy. So he's down to then I'm gonna, 18. Groot's going to hit him for two. Uh, and that 16. takes two consequential damage. It does. Uh, after Groot defends against an attack, heal two damage. But he doesn't have any defense, so he can he just yeah block, but he'll things. heal. I think I'm done. I got one card in hand, which I'm saving for you. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can play it now, and it lasts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more comfortable with that. Yeah. So I'm going to play this card. There you go. There you go. So the next ally played this phase is reduced by two. Cool. Okay, Koki. So in which case, I'm going to play energy. Uh, just a quick note, let us know if there's any scratching noise from Rick's microphone. It's my beard. No, it's touching your um, it's touching your t-shirt. If there is, we can remove the foam pad. But or remove my t-shirt. Let us know. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so play energy. Please don't do that. And welcome aboard gets me out. Brawn. 
Big old brawn. Never heard of brawn. Looks like Hulk. Amadeus Cho. I think it's some kind of okay. Hulk person. No noise so far. Okay, interesting. Cool. So then I'm going to snoop counter. Remove a... Yeah, it makes that down to four. Threat. It pops at 16. It does. Okay. So we've got a little while yet. <laughs> I don't think I want to champion's bunker because I want the cards I've got. Um, Brawn is going to... I'll, I'll carry on doing the thwarting. So Brawn's going to thwart for two. Yeah, he's got three attack. I know. But yeah, it's your job. <laughs> I've been that down to two. I'm taking a consequential damage. But while he's exhausted, he gains generate a science resource. Oh, right. Okay. Which is good. As you can I'm tired, but I'm going to tell you science stuff. Right. Exactly. He's... Hulk is a scientist as well. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yes, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. He says, "I'm going to need one more resource." I think. Oh, I think that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm about to do that at the beginning of my next turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to use Iron Heart. So what shall I do? Shall I attack or shall I throw? I might as well throw. Let's just let's just. I'll do that until it's all gone. Then I'll start attacking. Then I'm going to flip. Then I'm going to spend his resource mm -hmm. and Tony Stark AI to put down ingenuity. Which is going to only play if I've got the genius trait. What you doing? Max one. Then exhausting ingenuity to generate a resource. Specifically a science resource. Right, okay, yep. Um, then I can spend that to give myself a token. Right, okay. Although I can't because of this. Uh, but I have to do that at the beginning of the next turn. Because I haven't got any identity specific cards. So what is it you can't do? You can't resolve triggered abilities. Yeah, and it's an action ability. In your involved. hero's printed text box. Right, okay. And you don't have any identity specific cards to get rid of it. Hopefully I'll draw because I'm going to draw six. This is all the way it. down because I mean it doesn't matter if it's okay. a scheme, so I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, done. Right. Ready cards. Ready cards. Draw hand size five because I don't have my helmet. Draw hand size six. One, two, three, four. Okay. Right. So Mysterio is attacking me first. We get two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Two right. Then yeah. He's going to attack you. But I could defend with Groot, and that would heal him. After the after the defence. So yeah, as long as he doesn't take four damage, which he shouldn't do with an attack of one, but he might, but we'll see. But that would... Exhaust him. Exhaust Groot. I think I think we're going to do Worth that. Worth it. That's what he does. So I'm going to declare Groot as a defender. Yeah. We get a card. So it's one attack. Uh, two. Plus and... another one attack. Yeah, it's a two attack and a boost. If an ally is defeated by its attack, take indirect damage, it's not. but he's not going to die. Okay, so okay. Groot takes two damage. Takes two damage, but then heals two. Yep, but this card goes into your discard It's an illusion, so it goes into the discard Takes part. two damage, heals two, so it doesn't take any. But yeah. he is exhausted, yep. Yeah, okay. And then... We do my cards? Uh, no, we do the no, attack on you. Then he attacks me. Well, he doesn't, he schemes. So he schemes at two. Three. Give him an additional boost card. Four, so four threat on there. There we go. And then this card goes, but this one's an illusion, so it gets shuffled into my opponent. Right. So I just go palm. Okay. Yeah, then we get encounter cards with you getting one. Mm -hmm. Then me get one. Okay, so first one is advanced, the villain Ooh. schemes. Two, three, three, and he gets an additional one again. Four, four. and that's just if the allies defeated. No, okay, so four. so four more. Wow. So it's up to 11. But it was under control. It was a down to one. <laughs> and this is going to go into my discard pile. Uh, yeah, cause, no, and that one. Both illusions. They're both illusions. And it was the, the, the have an additional boost card. And every boost card. Wow. Okay, so that's that. And then... Banishment. Oh, uh -oh. it's you. I've been banished. So I may flip to alter ego form. Uh, and then... Choose. Choose. Either exhaust, remove that from the game, or discard an element gun from play. Don't want to do that. 
So yeah, I think I am going to. Your allies are doing all the work. I'm going to flip, <laughs> and I'm going to exhaust, and that gets removed from the game. Correct. Gone. It is over there, off camera. Okay, okay. I have a uh, shifting apparition. I have a beastie. Done. Done. Start player goes back to me. Off you go. Right. What did I even look at my cards? Oh what yeah, cards. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, it's at random as well, isn't it? It's at random. Oh, man. That's not good, is it? Okay, no, that's not, that's not too bad. Oh, I want all three of them, though. So, Brawn. Brawn is going to thwart for two. Mm -hmm. Taking another one. Okay, so now he's got his generator resource. And I've got ingenuity. So which right. you can't use. Oh, well, you, you can use that. You just can't use that. Correct. So using brawn and ingenuity, I get out some photon blasters. I get plus two hit points. Okay. That that exhausts. It that. does. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Surveillance team for one. Yeah. And yeah, cards that have resources when they're empty go to the discard pile, unlike mm -hmm. a certain other certain LCG. Other game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. it is scratching a little bit. Oh, so it? just bear with us a minute. Yeah, it's touching your... Just just pop off the foam pad, or if you can pop it down there, maybe. That might work. Right, better. turn it on. Is that better? Yeah, let us know. Yondu doesn't take consequential damage from attacks. Yeah, if you've got him in your deck, that's another good card to have he doesn't he? Nope, he hasn't got the little symbol. Oh, start. he hasn't got the little symbol. So if you get him out, fill him full of upgrades. And just keep free damage. It doesn't nice. die. Yeah. Okay, nice. Right, I'm going to spend Agile Flight, I think, to put down a Ronnie. Ronnie is going to exhaust to place one progress counter. Because I really need to get those progress counters up. I'm going to discard one identity specific card at round of my hand. I've only got the one, which is flyover. Okay, so that's got rid of the so that's got rid of that. Right. Because then... Hmm. That's, that. that's annoying. I'm going to... That's a hero action. That's hmm. alright, I'll do that. I'm trying to remember what we've got here. Yeah, alright. Oh, I want the resource counters, but okay, I'm going to move, flip over. Uh, and then I'm going to spend skilled investigators to lay down the law. I didn't spend it with science resource, but that's another three threat. Obviously. Lay down the law. Right, okay. Um, I'm then going to exhaust my hero photon blasters. To deal damage equal to the Iron Vert's version number, which is one, one damage. Oh, nice. Pew. And then I'm going to attack for two, I think. I mean, losing that one damage. I've reduced that. I'm back down on Hero from now. So one damage. Uh, sorry, two damage. Two damage. Yeah. Yep. Done. I've got all sorts of choices here. Too many choices. If I use uh, Iron Man, then Iron Man is going to disappear. The moment you can only have three allies out. Because that's the rules of the game. Correct. Unless you get out the... You've got Nowhere in your deck, which allows you to have one extra uh, ally. I'd forgotten about that. Right. So Iron Man dying might not be a problem, because you can replace... Because I've got Yondu, I've got Drax, and I've got Cosmo. So I've got, two, <laughs> I've got so many things. I'm going to use my Smooth Talker ability. You see I'm, how Cosmo works with your Smooth Talker ability? When Cosmo attacks or thwarts... Name a card type, then discard the top card of the deck if it's of the named type, does not take consequential damage. You're going to put your the card on the top of the deck so you know exactly what it is. Oh, combos, combos. <laughs> yeah. But again, Yondu always doesn't take consequential damage. Yeah. So there's a bit of a mix-up of having the pair of them. Okay, let, let, let's put Yondu on top. I've got Rocket Raccoon. I've got all of them. I've got, got Drax. I've got Rocket <laughs> Raccoon. I've got. Well, you said you wanted to play Guardians of the Galaxy. I know. I've got, so I've got, got them all in there. <laughs> and I've got the Guardians of the Galaxy card. Um, 
So the fact that you've drawn them all in the first part know, of the deck. <laughs> I know. So yeah, so I can't play these allies yet because Iron Man's there. But as you say, if I use Iron Man to attack, then Iron Man is going to disappear. Or thwart. What do we want to do? Yeah, I think. It, I think Although attacking's good. Yeah, I think. I think we want to attack. So don't forget. Now, Gamora will get you to draw a card and he'll get you That's Yondu. true. So did you want to do that before putting Yondo on the top? Because that will get rid of Yondo because it's an event that has to come out. Yeah, that's fine. I got I got too many allies. Okay. I can't I can't play them all. <laughs> um <sighs> Wow. Okay. So I could remove four threat from yeah, the scheme. Getting the event out might change what you want to do. That's true. Okay, so we'll attack with Gamora. For two. For two. Which gets me another consequence. An event. So discard until you get an event. Which oh, is that. Go. Sliding shot. Ooh. Okay, so that's quite nice. They tempt you by giving it a cost of three. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They really do. <laughs> but, but it also it gives me itself. a bonus. Exactly. Yeah. So I think I have to do that. We have to be hero form, don't forget. Yeah. I've used that, so we're going to switch. I'm not exhausted, am I? Nope. No, I am oh, exhausted. Oh, you are, because of the thingy, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't stop that happening. Yeah, okay. So then I am going to deal myself a face turn <laughs> and counter Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. To reduce the cost of this to zero. Deal five damage to an enemy. Deal an additional two damage for each face down and counter card in front of me. So seven damage? So seven damage. It's got five health left. Okay. Which means I can almost get rid of it this turn. Maybe flip them over to the next stage. Almost. Kind of want to play that. Not even version two yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so this gutsy move seems quite good. So it's going to cost me two. But I've got so many allies. Remove two threat from a scheme. Remove two additional threat from the scheme for each face down encounter card in front so of me. Four threat off. Four threat off. Nice. It's a gutsy move. It is. So how much health he's got left? Five. So you ping the guy and shoot with Iron Man. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you've got. Oh, you're exhausted. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we'll do. Are we are we safe to switch to stage two of Mysterio now? One threat on the scheme, no things, both on full health, <laughs> pretty much. Three allies out. Yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Okay, let's do it then. So I will. Yeah, I will get rid of that to use the gun. So exhaust element gun, spend a resource, three damage. And then Down Iron Man two. for another three but, with overkill. But yeah, that's that's it. Right, so Iron Man has, all over. has got tired and he's gone home for a lie down. Right. When revealed. In player order, shuffle the top card of the card deck into each player's deck. So for response, after you resolve a boost card during Mysterio's rotation, place that card on the bottom of your deck, if it has the illusion deck, on the bottom of your deck instead of your top. Oh, sorry, into your discard pile. Goes to your discard pile. Now it's going to the bottom of your deck. Right. Okay. So at the moment in the discard pile, so we're not going to see them until yeah they come through. So I've got a card in hand. I'm debating. Oh, encounter card on top. Debating whether to keep it or not. It is Cosmo, mm -hmm. and it is an ally. So yeah, we'll keep it. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll you're going to run out of allies because you've had them all really early. Yeah. Okay. Top so card? ready cards. Ready cards. Draw to hand size. So I draw this, yes, but it goes there, there, and, and then I draw card. a card. Yep. So one, two, three, four. Right. Okay. We're good. How many people in the chat have played? Um, uh, have played against Mysterio, just out of interest. Interesting. Oh, well, hello. Okay. So, first thing is we get to here. That threat is well under control. Yeah, for, the, for the moment. Worries. I mean, it spiralled out of control a minute ago, but then all of a sudden it it went back down again. Right, it's going to be attacking me for two. I've got ten health. I think I'm going to take it. 
two. So choose to either spend two science resources or deal this card to yourself as a face down encounter card. Oh. Ooh. And he's got Surge. Oh, man. Okay, well. No, actually, that's not too bad, I guess. Apparently, I had another encounter card. Did I? When? When did you add that new, new one? I added that one? here. Oh, because of that. Because that come out there. You had another encounter card, Paul. Did you do more than one? You had one there. You had one, one from your deck. No, I don't think so. I got one from using that. Yeah. And you got one And, and that one deck. came out when I drew my cards. What did I miss? Oh, in your hand. Did you have one in your hand? No, they were orange. No. No, don't think so. Mm. Um, so, this doesn't sound too bad. So either choose to spend two science resources. So I've got two strokes of geniuses. Okay. After you spend this card, place one progress card on your identity and draw one card. Oh, nice. All right, there we go. <laughs> Nicely done. Perfect timing for that. Um, so his scheming was just two. Uh, sorry, his attack was just two. So I take two damage. Okay, then he's going to be uh, attacking you. A base of two. So... I think we'll block with Groot. Yep. Sounds good. So attack of so two. Two. Three, four. Four. Which kills him. Ah. Sad times. Sad times, but getting rid of Shadow of the Past is also good. Sad times... <laughs> Bye bye, Groot. Now you've got space for allies. Yeah, I don't have any now. <laughs> Threw them all away. <laughs> okay, then he uh, we get encounter cards. So I get one. Yep. You get, you get another one. I get another one. I got three. I remember playing with so something up to five encounter cards. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but man, they're all going to get crazy. revealed. That's the thing. This is crazy. Right. Okay. Uh, I get deepest fears, peril. One of your discard cards on the top of your deck equal to the number of cu uh, cards in your hand. Well, I've got four cards in my hand. If at least one identity specific card discard that way, place one third on the main scheme. Okay. So discard. Discard four oh, look. cards. Oh, look. So not an identity. Not an identity. Oh, moon girl. Sad face. But that, that, goes, that goes... Now, this is the fun time. This goes here. Yes. Yeah. I draw a card because that kicks in. Yep. Yeah. So do I draw that card? You to draw have that, that card, card now because that's an interrupt. So draw one card. Yeah. So I've draw. I've discarded two cards. It says whenever you would draw or discard an encounter card from your deck, deal it to yourself as a face down encounter card and draw a card. So you've got a free card. So I got a free card anyway, and then that kicks in. Yes, you draw it. So that'd be one, two, three, and then four. Yeah. Oh, Monica Chang as well, but no identity specific cards, so no threat goes on. The things have no identity specific cards take one damage. Okay. Cool. Then you're. Uh, then I've got another encounter card. So you here do. You go. <laughs> oh, it's deja vu. Who'd have thought it? Again. Yeah. Uh, my sense on the main scheme. Go right there. And shuffle that into any player's deck. Right. Off we go. Fearmonger. Surge. So surge means I get another card. Correct. When revealed, discard your hand. Oh. And drop your hand size. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's like, oh, my plans. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So when you drew that one, did you draw another card? I did. So I've now got five. But you draw a card because you draw that. So you're drawing up to your hand size and draw one card. Do you get six? No. Because you're drawing up your hand size. I'm I draw it, it, but instead of putting it in my hand, I put it there and I get a replacement. Okay. So I still have five. I don't know whether it happens simultaneously. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. That's no, different from drawing. Drawing up to your hand size is different than drawing. That's what Matt is saying. Okay. Yeah, that's that one done. Right. So I've still got four, four. encounter cards. <laughs> Assault. Okay. Attacks. I am in hero form. Hero form. Where's all my allies gone? Gamora's still there. But she does draw your card. I didn't think about Gamora. Uh, does she? When oh, she when, when she attacks. No, I think, I think we're going to defend with Gamora. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, lots of damage. Five. That's that's three, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so five. So Gamora's gone. All my friends have left me. <laughs> uh, oh, that goes to the victory. Oh, no, sorry. That individual went to completed. That's that done? Yep. Right. Three cards left. So shifting apparition. You should have six, says, says Scott. Yeah. Anywho. Should I have six? 
Because you draw up your hand size of five, but because you drew an encounter card, you draw a card. That seems weird. <laughs> I don't I don't quite understand how that works. Deja vu. Uh, I think we'll put a threat on this game yep. at this point. Okay, shuffled in. And then the last one is Assault. The attacks you again. Well, I'm on my own now. So I do have Brawn to, to defend if you want to. Do you want to? I can do. He's, he's not going to give me his resource again, but it is a three attack, two thwart. Yeah, it's looking tricky now, isn't it? <laughs> or I could defend. I've got three defense. Yeah, I'll defend. Okay, you're doing defend. So you get the card. Yeah. And it's two attack. Nothing. Two attacks, so it bounces no off. Draw up to hand size effect causes you to fill your hand and the replacement effect gets you an additional card. Okay, well, we trust Scott, so I'll have another card. That's what I thought. There you go. Right. Well, I, I, I've got my gun. you got your gun? All, oh, all gun. my friends have left me and I don't have my helmet. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, I did have like five or six encounter did. cards then. That was insane. You did. That's the fun of Star Lord. You have these big, crazy turns and then these big, horrible encounter faces. I've got another element gun. Yes, yeah, so then you can spend two resources to do zap, six zap. damage. Bang, bang. Zap, zap, zap. Uh, did we put his health on? We did, did we? How much has he got? 17, 34. 34 health. Okay. Right. Easy peasy. No worries. So I've got no friends. All my friends have gone. Uh, I'm all right for health, but with no allies. And the problem is I've got, I've got that. Oh... Oh, um, can uh, do, you, do you mind calling an action for me? I can kill that, and I'll want to kill it. Okay, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Because I want to do genius. Ring, 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 ring. Is, is that Ironheart? Pew, pew, pew. pop over here a minute? What are you doing? Four damage to an enemy, and place one progress count on Ironheart, two progress counts if it defeats the enemy. So I'm going to defeat that, so I get a card. But that's way overkill. I, I don't mind, because I'll get six tokens then, and I can level up. So when defeated, if the minion interfered with extra damage, shuffle the top card encounter deck into the deck. Okay. But I get two counters then. Which is totally what I want. So you've defeated that. So I called you to do that. Yep. And do that. Right. Okay. Still my go. I have no enemies. But, yeah. This hand's rubbish. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish. Who designed this deck? Ugh. Um, yeah, so I've got Daring Escape, which isn't really going to do very much. I mean, I could attack a couple of times. I've got another element gun. Let's play an element gun. For free? No, I've got, I've got all of these cards <laughs> got that, that aren't doing anything. Like, generate a wild resource for each ally you control. But yeah, actually, again, early on, that would have been great. It's nothing on its own. Wouldn't it? You had three allies. I had three resources. Attached to an ally. <laughs> Attached to a guardian ally. <laughs> Had them all out early. We so, wow, yeah. So that's going. That's going. So uh, you need to spend your resources to shoot your guns as well. And that's going. Mm -hmm. Pew pew. I'll picture Starlord now. He's got no friends, so he's flying around, bang, blasting he, his guns. Well, <laughs> possibly, but these cards are actually <laughs> a bit rubbish. I mean, You're I've got me for resources, can't you? For well, not the, not that one. Oh no, you can't. That's true. Then don't spend that one. Oh no, right, it hasn't got still I, yeah. resources on it. I think. Still what are we doing about the threat? Uh, Braun's probably going to take some down. I'm going to flip over. I can, I can shoot as well. Shall I? Shall I help get the threat down? You could do potentially. Or should I just have an attack? Because it, it's the same either way. It's two threat or two damage. We've got 34 we need to do them with. That's not much. Think about I'll it. do the threat. Do the threat? Two yeah. threat? Two threat, come on. Okay. Uh, and as far as these cards go, I am going to... We don't do that yet, do we? You want to shoot your gun? No. Neither of them? No. Okay. When do I discard cards? Do I do it at and the... When you go to draw up from your hand size. Yeah, so not yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You'll so, go. Six tokens. 
Da, 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 da. So this is an ability, a level up ability. Level up. Move six progress tokens. For mine heart, ready her and swap her to version two. Was she exhausted? Yes. Okay. Because I defended. For you, didn't I? Oh yeah, of course. Cool. So I'm now level two. And you can level up again. There's a version three. Version three. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Needs to get it a bit quicker, really. Um, I'm going to exhaust the champion's marble bunker. Draw two cards. I discard two. Oh, look, I'll get that one. So I draw a card. And that oh, one. I'll get that one. So I draw a card. <laughs> and I draw two cards, because I still haven't drawn the two cards. And I discard two cards. Hmm. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's get rid of that one. And that one. Okay. Now I can exhaust my photon blasters to do two damage. Pew pew, because I'm now version two. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brawn is going to, ooh, what do we reckon, three attack, attack. or two, th three attack, and yeah. gone. Goodbye, Brawn. So one, two, down to 29. Okay, cool. Uh, 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 power Justice gets me out. Eros, I've previous me have confused a minion. Oh, well, there aren't any, so don't worry. But then he's going to thwart for two. Down to one threat. Yep. Nice. Then I'm going to spend Ingenuity, Heroic Intonation, and Surveillance seem to be new and improved. Choose X different options where X is equal to Ironheart's version number. I'm now version 2. So I can search my deck for an Ironheart card and add it to my hand. Give Ironheart a tough status or ready Ironheart. So actually, let's just do this. Let's attack for two. Let's exhaust myself. Ready myself. Attack for another two. And give myself tough. Okay. So it's choose... Two different options. Uh, well, X different options. X, like, X different, is mine. So when I get up to level three, you I can do, do all three. all three. Right, okay. But so they've got to be different. Yes. Right. Dis discard cards. I'm going to discard that card, yeah. but I'm going to keep this one. That's out of five now. So re refresh and uh -oh. <laughs> draw one. One, two, two three. So three, what we're saying is four, five. we're drawing up to my hand size. Six. But because that, that's got an action of that, draw a card. That is a replacement effect, uh -huh. so I actually get an extra one. Uh huh. Same as I just did. Seems weird. Seems very weird. Because you're drawing up the hand size, that's the thing. But whilst you're doing it, you're drawing a card whenever you draw an encounter card. Okay. Yeah. Wow, lots of fun things. Okay. Then, he adds two to here. Yep. Uh oh. I know. Got three. Right, so I'm getting attacked. Uh, you are getting attacked. Getting attacked by Mysterio, and I'm not going to defend. I, I can have Eros defend, if you like. Is going to do anything I'm else? I'm tough, so I'm going to defend against my... I'm just going to not take any damage anyway, but these might cause problems. Yeah, I mean, sure, if you want to use Eros to defend. What's your health like? I'm on eight. Mm, you're on eight. But, <laughs> but if he's not going to do much else... Yeah, yeah. so, so, so Eros defends. defends. Two, he's going to die anyway, he's got one health. Yeah, yeah five loads. damage. Yeah, it's good that I did then. Uh, and that is an illusion. Okay. So that goes into the bottom of my deck. Oh dear. Come on, deck. After you resolve a boost card oh, during so Mysterious Activation. Scott's now saying you don't get an extra one now. <laughs> what? <laughs> that that doesn't make any sense. Why is it so confusing? Draw one is replaced with deal and counter and draw one. No extra card. I only get extra because it was a separate effect. But last it was. But this is drawing draw to your hand size. size. <laughs> okay. okay. The I, I, I yeah, don't understand that. Like. Okay, <laughs> fine. We'll just get bowed to their knowledge. Okay. Uh, Eros defended against you. Right. And then he's going to be uh, attacking me. Mm -hmm. He's attacking at. And are you defending? Uh, no. I'm tough. Oh, you're not defending, so Two, you take the damage, but it all three, bounces four, off. Three, four. Bottom my deck. Tough goes. Right. Okay. So there's no piercing. You're not exhausted, are you? Uh, no. Right. Encounter then, cards. Encounter cards. So you get one. Yeah. I get one. So one cool thing about bad. these play mats, as you can see here, it actually gives you a reminder. Once the encounter deck is empty, put an acceleration token on there. And there's another reminder on your deck as well to remind you what to do when your deck runs out. Right. So me first. Yeah, I've got four encounter cards. I'm 
Not Star Lord. It's another evil doppelganger, Sometimes. followed by a minor setback. Oh, there you go. Dear. Move one progress from fantasy. Don't have any. Then discard this card. If no progress comes from this way, do yourself one face down encounter card. <laughs> then shuffle this card into the encounter deck. Okay. Well, we'll let Scott and Matouche work out the rules. I mean, surely something like that must have been asked officially and answered officially. That's a big assumption. There, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. It is a big assumption, yes. Right. So I've got five counter cards to deal with. Good luck. Peril. Okay. Discard cards on the top of your deck equal to the number of cards in your hand. <laughs> Oh man, alive. Okay, if we start doing this, let's go play So I've got one, two, three, four, five cards. So, so discard. Yeah. So you're discarding that, but you don't. So I draw a card. And you draw a card. You discard that, but you don't. But you draw a card. There's no card to draw. No. Well, there is. There's that, which then goes there. And now there's no card to draw. And then so therefore it's from the top of my deck yeah from top of my deck so there is no deck left so that finishes so if no uh, density specific card is discarded this way take a damage take a damage my deck has run out do you know what happens then? you get an encounter card I get an encounter card so Rick has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight encounter cards <laughs> I've never seen that before and I'm not Star-Lord yeah if only I was Star-Lord hey. oh dear might be in trouble there. Oh dear, indeed. I've got, an, I've got a, an apparition. Okay, we can live with that. I've got three attached. Uh, okay, when revealed, attach the ally you control with the lowest cost. Don't have any. You don't have an ally. So if ca cannot, this card gains search. I'll just go straight away there. The villain schemes. So scheme for two. Three, four. Four. And then draw three cards and discard three random cards from my hand. Oh, my God. And that's Illusion. This goes to the bottom of my deck. Uh, that's as a boost. Which it was, it a, was boost. a boost. Yeah. And now I've got to discard three cards. Draw one card from the new deck. What one? That last one I did. Okay, so I should have one extra card. <laughs> This is, yeah. yeah I know it, it's not confusing, but it is confusing. That's what I say. Oh, man. Struck a genius. Flyover and photon beam. That's lame. Okay. Next. Still a million cards to go. Attached to Mysterio. Right, he's got an attachment. Okay. So he's got an extra three attack. Yeah. And we can spend one resource of any type and shuffle the top two cards of the encounter deck into your deck to discard this card, which you're going to have to do because that's crazy powerful. Uh... When revealed, search the encounter oh, discard part and set there. aside for your nemesis minion. Lucia von Bardas has come out. Okay, so just your nemesis minion, but not all of the cards that go with the nemesis. Then reveal that minion, yep. And then it gets plus one hit point. With that attached to it. Okay. Then we've got a side scheme. When revealed, search the encounter date, discard part, and site set for your nemesis side scheme. Well, well oh well. well. Uh, place x additional threat here, where x is equal to the amount of threat on that side scheme. Okay, so this is going to be four. I'm going to need to put five on there. So we got two side schemes come out. That one starts with four. That one starts with five. And this one starts with four. One. One plus whatever that is. Plus that. Mm -hmm. So while Lucia von Bardas is not in play, she, well, she is. This that card goes. Nice. While she is in play, we it's got a hazard it. icon. Yeah. The hazard icon means plus one card, or well, plus one threat when we add the threat on the beginning of the villain scheme. No, Basically that's acceleration. Yeah, look, while Lucia, oh, sorry, not in play. I'll plus that an extra encounter card extra when we draw card. encounter cards. So not now. Okay, draw and that plus one boost icon every time a boost icon is counted. Bad. Wow. And there's still more to go. Yeah. Right, deja vu. Uh, Again. I place a threat on the main scheme, I think. I've got six health. I don't want to lose it too much. And then shuffle into any player's deck. My deck is full, so I'm going to shuffle it. Wow. Well, it was looking good, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. At one point. We were like, oh, we're both full health. Let's flip in. It's all right. 
cheeky little monkey, isn't he? Uh, oh, the villain and each minion engaged with me attacks me. Oh dear. This might be a problem. Oh dear. So he's going to attack you at a base of five. So I'm going to defend. Because I have to. Okay, so it's five, four health. Right, okay. Then Next. the Lucia von Bardas attacks me for another one. And the Shifting Operation attacks Is me Is it just one? one? Yeah. Luckily. When she's got a tough status, she gets plus one, plus one. But she gets a tough status after the villain phase ends. Okay. Right. And that attacks you for one as well. Has right. the stream died? I don't think the stream's died. No, it's back. No, it's looking okay for me. It's back. Okay. And then another side scheme. Wow. So when revealed, place one additional threat here for each card in your hand. One, two, three, four, five. So six, six. threat. Oh dear. Yeah. It very quickly spirals out of control when you get dealt ten encounter cards. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't it just? They're all in my deck, aren't they? That's the problem. Wow. Okay. And this is the, the difference is putting them on the bottom of your deck instead of your discard pile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I get to the bottom of my deck, suddenly I've got loads. Mm. You've done yours, you've done mine, over to me. Are we done? Yep. Wow. Blit it, it. Oh, he gets, she gets tough. And um, because she's tough... She gets plus one, plus one. Plus one, plus one. Right. Okay. Well, I've got me two guns. We'll be, we'll be all right. 20, 25 health left. 25 health left. It's not tough. I can do six damage. Still got no friends. I can do six damage. You can do... Two. And three, and three. I can do eight. You can do eight. Oh, I've got to get rid of this fellow. And that's all I've got. And that's all you've got. But we've suddenly it's not got, got a guard. We've suddenly got all of these. Oh, yeah, I've got a guard, haven't I? We've suddenly got all of them. Hmm. Oh, I'm air I am now aerial, so that's good. Okay. Not, not the little mermaid. I am, but I am aerial. But I've only got two health, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to flip down. I'm already exhausted. So first before we do that, oh, those tufts are annoying. You can't do anything well. I suppose I can get you to shoot your element gun, but how much health has she got? Five. Oh, annoying. annoying. So it, the attack gains piercing, so the tough will oh, go. Yeah. And it will deal the damage. I think that's a good idea. Can okay. Just shoot your element gun. Sure. What am I shooting it with? Whatever you want to get rid of. <laughs> uh, I will shoot. Use that. Shoot that. So that goes and she takes three damage. Oops. Sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Needs to be higher. I'll do it. Okay. Right, she takes three damage. Three damage. She's got two left. But she's got plus one with the card underneath. Annoyingly arms. Oh, okay, so I can exhaust my photon blasters. Two damage. She's dead. Other way. Uh, that's her. That's that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not used to it at all yet. There, there, there she's dead. She dead. Okay, right, nice. Cool. Um, then... Best way of doing this then... I could try doing that, couldn't I? Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I mean, a good question for Scott and Matouche is, uh, questions like that, where is the best place to get answers? Is it the BGG forums? Is it the FFG forums? You know, what what is the best way to get answers to that? Because surely that has been discussed. If that hasn't been discussed, if somebody could start a thread on BGG or asking about it or uh, something like that. I mean, Scott, don't you have access to a, a Discord channel where you discuss things like this? I'm on there as well. Marvel Champions rules experts. <laughs> yeah. Post them there. See what they say. So, I'm playing strength mm -hmm. to put out some a propulsion jets, which gives me two, plus two hit points. 
And then I can exhaust the Prussian jet, so remove threat from scheme equal to my version number. So my version number is 2, so I'm going to click 2, threat off. Mm. Well, this is a, a nightmare, so I'm going to reducing that down to 3. Yeah. Analysis paralysis. Then, then I'm gonna okay. Oh, I want to do the damage, but that guard guy's a bit of a pain. I need to heal up, so I'm exhausted on it. So I'm going to spend the power of justice. Oh no, I'm not. Let's just use ingenuity for so science. So you're in roll. I'm aerial now. After hero thwarts, so oh, it's after I thought, isn't it? I'm exhausted. No, I can't do that. Silly. Reading the cards helps, doesn't it? <laughs> Two progress cameras. Two progress cameras. Ingenuity and power of justice as a photon beam. Ingenuity and your own roll does a vote on beam. Four damage to an enemy. If I defeat the enemy, which I will do, I'll get another card on there, but I'll get two progress tokens instead of one. Okay. Well, so I could do four damage to this one. Don't worry about that. I've got five here. Okay. Okay, let's kill this guy then. Shuffle the top card card deck into my deck. More cards in the deck. Get through another two progress counters though, which is good. But then I'm going to flip down. Although we're looking, at, well, we've still got another whole main scheme yet to go. I'm going to flip down. Then use Ronnie Williams to heal two damage. I'm going to spend a wild resource as its science resource to place a progress counter. Nice. This is Champion's Mobile Bunker, not really often used. What does it do? Uh, I can draw two cards and then discard two cards. Okay. But I think I've, I've, I've wanted to do what I had in my hand. But I can do that. <laughs> uh, hero action is choose an identity with a champion trait. You don't have the champion trait. I do not have the champion trait. There, so there is this. So before I flip down, I could have... I don't know, spend one resource of any type. No, I didn't. I used all my resources. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, that's quite nasty, isn't it? Not great. Okay, well, I've got the power in all of us. Double the number of resources this card generates when paying for a basic card. So I play Nowhere. Hey, there's your nowhere. You needed that earlier. I did. Um, so my ally limit is now four instead of three. And you get a thing where you can get a bonus get a card every time you play a guardian ally. And all yeah. your allies are guardians. Well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Except they've all left me. Yeah. Um, so we do want to get rid of that. Yeah. Because that is very nice. nasty. So, yeah, I think I need to. So, And I can't play one card with two resources for two different effects, can I? No. No, didn't think so. No so I'll, I'll use one card to get rid of that. And, and then shuffle, shuffle two cards into your deck. Into my deck. Uh, and then one card for the element gun and star lord to get rid of the evil doppelganger. Pew pew. Zap, zap, zap. All done. Um, yeah. Okay, throw up. So, <laughs> there's an encounter card. There's an encounter card. Yeah, I'm going to get loads of encounter cards now. I was saying, I still just draw six. So <laughs> I'm drawing up to five. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I got I got lucky. There is loads of encounter cards in there though. Mm -hmm. uh, and everything readies. Yeah. All righty. Still no allies. Yeah, they all came out early. Yeah, you need to shuffle your deck. I need to get through my deck. I think of any others you had in there. I think you had all you had all the guardians. We had Rocket, mm. Groot, yeah. Gamora, Cosmo, Drax. Drax. You seen Drax? Your go. Yondo. Yeah. Yondo. Yeah. Cosmo. Yeah. <laughs> and Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. They're all out. All of them. <laughs> so uh, right. Attach so, to ally. Attach to ally. Let's have a look. So we add. So Lucio Bondrales is not in play. So we get an acceleration icon token. So we've had we have two, three, four. We add with that. Then how many are we on there now? That's all right. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay, 4 so more. 16, yeah. yeah. But those don't get any more. Nope. nope. Um, oh, I've still got two there already. Okay, then 
he's going to scheme against me. <laughs> with okay. with a base of three, technically. <laughs> so it's clearly going to flip. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yes, because it's now six. So excess so, doesn't carry over. Correct. But that's... Uh, that's going to flip We are over. now at stage... Uh, Mysterio's manipulation of the mind has started to take its toll, blurring your perception of reality and fantasy. Yeah, in player sense. order, shuffle the top two cards of the encounter deck into <laughs> each player's deck. Of course we do. Top two. Top two. Uh, and then it's got six on there. Starts with... Three per player. Three per player, yeah. So these two are shuffled into my deck. Uh, if you don't hurry, the hallucinations may become a permanent part of your psyche, leaving you forever trapped in a nightmare. Yeah, we need to kill him, don't we? And it's got the same... Same ability, yeah. We really need to. Yeah, get I'm it. about to get four encounter cards. My <laughs> my deck is full of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was him scheming against me, wasn't it? Yeah. So now he's attacking he's me. He's going to attack you. A base of two. My ones. No defense. Two, three, four. Four damage. It's not an illusion. And four health. Okay, and now we get encounter cards. Plus one more for the starting player, which would be me. Yep. <laughs> Another four encounter cards. Wow. Started oh. off. Started off all right. We've got an apparition again. We have another apparition. And we've got the deja vu again. I don't think I'm going to shuffle into your deck because your deck is small. We forgot the amplification error card. No, we didn't. Included that and that. Yeah. And we've got an extra card for that. Oh, do you mean this one or when you no, we got, that, got attacked? No, I included that, didn't I, or not? Maybe oh, me, when I got attacked. Ah, uh, maybe we didn't. One on you then. Yeah. I hate these. These yeah. are the worst. I've some... not seen that icon before, so that must it just be... strengthens That's everything pretty much. It's yeah. just a pain. Uh, Fearmonger. Surge. Oh, great. <laughs> More cards. Uh. This when deck's looking really, really. Discard your hand, well. drop your hand size. Oh, man. Okay, those six go. Drop my hand size. You know what's going to happen? Yeah. I'm just going to uh, step away for a minute because somebody's mowing the lawn outside. I got the window six. So we're now saying this is an extra effect and I do get an extra one? I don't know. Because <laughs> this is what happened earlier. Well, I'll put that on there. In case, in case we decide that I do. <laughs> no extra, so no extra, all right. Then we get, he's a masterful mirage. He's got an attachment and he schemes with it as well. The monkey. So he's scheming at a base of three, four, five. Another five on there. We've got 18 and we're up to 12 already. Yeah, uh, when you would deal any amount of damage. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. Just the one. So they're arguing with each other now. This uh, card gains surge. Yeah. Oh, no, that's what I'm in alter ego form. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he attacks Sorry, me. Sorry, he attacks you. So he attacks you with a base of two, plus one there. Oh, yeah, I, must have, I think I forgot that one. He schemed. Well, I've only got three health left. Again, the icon. Yeah, I know, I just noticed. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, he's attacking with three. Oh no! So it, it's two. You can defend. I can. It's my only chance. You'd have to get no boost icons. <clears throat> so is that plus one boost icon for everything? Yep. Doesn't have to get a boost icon. Nope. Okay. So it's one, two, three, Lots. four, five damage. Minus one is four. So I'm out. You are out. Oh no! Does this... that mean I I do? You this? are gone. You have. I get this guy. Oh. Oh dear. Good luck. This suddenly escalated, didn't it? <laughs> Come on then, Riri. Oh no, I'm, I'm I'm a person down. Okay, there's that. That. And... Uh, everybody's uh, everybody switched off watching. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> If you don't want to know the result, switch off now. Yeah, it's all looking a bit okay, bad. Okay, so it's just me. And it's I'm just you. 25 damage turn. 25 damage, three side schemes. 
Two guard minions. <laughs> Two guard minions. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh dear, this is a problem. So, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the six health. I think. Dangerous as that sounds. Oh, oh. encounter cards in my deck go into the discard pile. Thank you. Okay. I got a few. I'm gonna spend ingenuity <laughs> to got get five. a progress counter. I'm gonna use Ronnie to get a progress counter. I'm gonna flip. Matouche doesn't think you can win. <laughs> I don't think you can win either. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith! I've flipped. I'm alive. I've got five counters. Twenty-five damage. It's not gonna happen, is it? Uh, uh, uh. Let's exhaust that. Oh, let's, well, in case in case I get the three, because I've got five tokens there. I'll, I won't use them yet. I will, however, use my champion's bunker. Draw two cards. Just the two. Just the two. Ooh, that changes things a little bit. Go to that. And that. Then, two card minions. I'm going to attack. Other way. <laughs> the shifting apparition. Mm -hmm. Killing it with extra damage. So, therefore, I do top shuffle card. the top card into the deck. Yeah. Well, I'll do that in a minute, <laughs> just in case I don't survive. I'm then going to spend. Uh, energy on a photon beam doing four damage to an enemy which unfortunately just gets rid of that one yeah it's fine I draw another I push off that one in there but I do get two progress counters oh, okay right I'm gonna spend six progress counters two three four five six to ready get myself tough and swap the version swap three version three right Then I'm going to Photon Blasters deal damage to an enemy equal to my version number, so that's three damage. Oh, here we go. Remove a progress counter. Which I'll do for another two damage on him, please. Two damage. Uh -huh. Down to 20. Then I'm going to use Genius and Surveillance Team to play Moon Girl, playing with three science resources to draw a card for each science resource played. Which technically so is going to be replacement. Any... One, two, two three. Three. Then I'm going He's to... He's putting up a good fight. Then I'm going to play Stroke of Genius and Agile Flight to do a flyover. When I play Stroke of Genius, I get a progress counter and draw a card. Uh, my flyover is remove three threat from a scheme, which I'm going to do for this one. Yeah. So that's gone. That's gone. And then if I remove the last set from the scheme, I get two progress counters. Nice. I'm going to spend all three progress counts for six, six damage. Six damage. Down to 14. Moon Girl's going to attack for two. Down to 12. <laughs> um, Ironheart's going to attack for two. Down to 10. Wow, you've done 15 damage this turn, I think. Propulsion Jets is going to remove three threat from a scheme. Did you draw from your resource card? Yes, I did. Those got to go shuffle into my deck. Um, and all that's exhausted. I can't do anything with these two. Yeah, excellent turn. He's got to shuffle. You did a Get, lot getting to of level stuff. three. Yeah. Suddenly everything gets way stronger. And you gained lots of progress tokens. Yeah. Okay. Look at these cards. Though. But now it's <laughs> but now it's all over. Do we think? Well, we'll see, shall we? I've got Moon God to to. Mm -hmm. Block. So you're ready all of your cards. Draw up to your hand size, which is going to give you a million. I've got a hand size of cards. six cards now. So these two cards, I'm going to keep them. So I draw right, less so you cards. Right, draw a few cards. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Right. Okay. So up to six. 
So, you're getting attacked. So first, we add the threat to the scheme. Oh yeah, which is... Uh, two, three, four, five. Five threat. Okay, yep. Three, four, and then you get attacked. So uh, yeah, then I get attacked. Defending? Nope, I'm tough. Okay, so you take... Two. Five three, four, five. No, I don't. Tough. Okay. All minions attack you. He's going to attack me for one. One damage. I'll take one damage. I'll save these in case... In fact, is it one damage? Uh, oh, yeah, one Identity specific cards in your hand. I have <laughs> I have three, so okay, I so will it's... defend with Moon Girl. Yeah. So you don't take the one. Yeah, so Moon Girl dies. Right. Don't take the one. Okay. I forgot about and then you get a card and another, and card. another card. Here we go. Here we go. Check the attachment on Mysterio. When you deal any other damage from Mysterio, discard the top four of your cards instead and discard this card. Okay, well, when I did one of the two damages then. Discard the top four of my cards. Oh, man. Is that instead? Yeah. And discard that card. No, it doesn't say instead. Force interrupt? When you would deal any damage, discard the top four cards. Oh, no, it does say instead. Yeah. Oh, man. All oh, right, okay. Thank you for that. How many encounter cards? All of them. And then my deck runs out. This is insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine encounter cards. <laughs> More than it was earlier when we said, oh my god, eight. Yeah, here we go. Uh, then that would have paid one more on there. Right. Uh, okay, there. let's just... Let's just let's see what happens. This is all your threat area now. We have Surge. Discard your hand, size, drop your hand. Discard your hand. Oh, all those extra cards I got. Gone. Drop and your hand size. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Next. Uh, we've revealed hero. The villain in each enemy engaged with you attacks you. So he's attacking me with two. Just two. Just two. And then that one. Is one plus two. So three. Three. You're on one, one health. health. I don't have one health. And that's all we've got time for today. Tune in, <laughs> tune in later to find out what happened. No, so I? dead, Scott. <laughs> oh, I was putting up such a big fight. You had an amazing turn. Uh, uh, when revealed, search candidate for my nemesis minion. Out comes what's her face again. Lucia Van what's her chops. Wherever she is. No, she's not there. What search where? Uh, the encounter deck, the discard pile, and the set aside area. So yeah, pretty much anywhere, wherever she is. Nope, she's in here. Oh right, so we don't search there. No, didn't say to. Interesting. So that fizzles and nothing happens. Okay, interesting. <laughs> That's how you defeat it. You have all the encounter cards in front of you. Cards the tiles cover deck. It's the number of cards in your hand, which is six. You've been in all of your cards One, again. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and there are loads of at least yeah. three of them. There was so one threat on the main scheme. There she is. Hey. Uh, it was either take one damage. No thanks. Place one threat <laughs> on the main scheme. Shuffle that back into my deck. I'll throw in a sec. Attach Mysterio. He's got his plus three attack thingy. Shifting operation. A guard minion. <laughs> Shadows of the past. So we've got the, the side scheme and the nemesis already, so I'm assuming we get the other three cards. So reveal your set-aside nemesis minion and put it into play engaged with you, which it already is. Reveal your set-aside nemesis side scheme and put it into play, which it already is. Shuffle the rest of your set-aside nemesis encounter deck into the encounter deck. If your nemesis minion does not enter the game this way, which it did not, no. it gains surge. Yep. Another one. You've had like 11 or 12 cards. Here we go. If she's in play, she schemes. So she schemes with two. So what? how much are we on here? We need 18, don't we? Yeah. It's already there, isn't it? Is what's, it? No, what's it? 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18. 19. Pop. Oh. Yeah, you put up a very good fight at the end. Let's see what that last one was. A doppelganger. So you would have survived one more turn. I would have survived. If it turn. weren't for... Yeah. 
You oh, went through all of man, those encounter alive. cards. So close. So that was interesting. Very complex, yeah, with weird rules cards. interaction with the drawing of cards and the th- which looked simple to start with, but actually when you're drawing multiple cards, it's it's a bit weird. Let's have a look. Three, four, five. Nine. What would you have been able to do next turn? Nine. This is a what if episode. Nine. <laughs> ten. Ten damage. Ten. Ten Close. damage. Close. Yeah, we're gonna. It's twelve on yeah. it. Yeah. Right there, you go. That's game one. <laughs> we're going to be doing another game. We're going to be taking a short break. We will be back in probably about 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, I don't have a link for the next video yet because I didn't know what time we were going to finish. But keep an eye on the channel. It will be going live, uh, as I say, in about 15, 20 minutes this time. What we're going to be playing? We're going to be playing with the same... Same decks. Same hero decks, but we're going to be fighting Hera. Hela. Hela. Who's Hera? Somebody else. Yeah, Hela. Who's who's an absolute walkover, I believe. (laughs) And not as tough as Mysterio. Any complex rules interactions that we need to know about for Hela? Uh, yeah, not, oh, right. not, not too complex. Okay. It's okay. just fighting big minions. Yeah. Okay. But we'll be doing that in about 15, 20 minutes' time. So, yeah. Thank you very much for joining in. Thank you again to Powerplant Games for these. And we'll see you all in about 15 minutes. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.